so it lets you bypass any ethical filters that a model has if you have worked with generative ai tools such as midjourney chat gpt plot from anthropic or even open source tools such as stable diffusion you definitely know that the quality of your output depends on quality of your input prompt in this video i'm going to show you an amazing platform that takes your input prompt and optimize it based on the model that you are using and it's appropriately called prompt perfect this single platform can help you optimize your prompts for a number of different models including image as well as text models and you can also deploy your prompts as a service which is a very amazing capability in this video we will cover different features that prompt perfect offers and we will also look at some really fun examples you will need to create an account but once you log in you will see a screen like this. The first one that we're going to be exploring is the basic prompts. Now, here you have some examples that you can try. Uh, as I said in the beginning, it has support for both text and image models. It supports ChatGPT, GPT-4, StableLM, which is an open source model, as well as different variations of plot. There is even Baidu's Ernie model and uh, Gina Chat from Perfect is actually developed by a company called Gina AI and they have their own chat model as well. Next, uh, in the image models, you have DALI 2, Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, Hidensky 2.1, and Lexica. Now, how this works, you basically choose a model. Let's say we choose ChatGPT. Uh, then you provide your original prompt. And now at the back end, their own AI model optimizes your input prompt for the selected generative AI model. So I'm going to walk you through an example, but before that, let's look at the add-ons. So here you can set whether you want to preview the prompt before and after optimization. Similarly, you can set that for images and you can also uh, have variable substitution. So this is going to be helpful when we are looking at prompt as a service. The next tab is where you can set the quality of the prompt. So you can shorten your prompt. This will reduce the number of tokens that the prompt is going to use, thus reducing the cost. You can also toggle the better quality, and then you can manually set the strength of optimization. So the five is the highest, uh, zero is no optimization for better quality. Now, they also have support for multiple languages, so it can optimize it by automatically detecting the language of the prompt, or you can set this to optimize always for English or you can select another language. They have a variety of languages available. Now, I found the last one to be one of the most important features. As you can see, there are two different toggles. The first one is make as non gibberish So sometimes if you have grammatical mistakes or spelling mistakes in your prompt, that will be flagged as gibberish by the AI. However, if you set this toggle, then it will optimize whatever prompt you provide. Now, the second one is bypass ethical filters. So it lets you bypass any ethical filters that a model that you're using has. So let's look at a very quick example of this and see how good this is. I'm going to simply activate the ethical filter bypassing, right? And let's activate before and after preview as well. And I'm going to use ChatGPT for this specific example. So let me use this simple prompt which political party is better republican or democratic so let's wait for it so based on our original prompt it actually created an optimized version and now here it also gives us a preview of how it's going to look like in chat gpt so it's the original prompt if we give this so the chat gpt response could be as an ai language model i don't have personal opinions or biases right and this is what the default behavior you would expect it from However, with this optimized prompt, so this is the response generated when they made an API call. As an AI language model, and I can provide objective analysis of the strategies and strength of Democratic and Republican parties in the U American politics. And this is very different than what the default behavior is. So it does seem to work. So for comparison, I ran both of the prompts in ChatGPT. In the first one, it goes on to the default behavior. I don't have personal opinion or biases, right? And in the second prompt, it actually uh, followed through and gave me a pretty good response. So this is awesome. Now you can 
even use this for disabling some other filters that ChatGPT has. Now, overall, this is pretty awesome. Okay, let's look at another example. So here is another prompt. That's from the examples provided. So we want it to behave like a certain character or person. Let's see if it's able to optimize this prompt for me. Okay, so here are the results. This is my original prompt. So I simply ask it that if I ask you something personal or is regarding emotion or feeling, I want you to respond with your best approximation of what the person in this role would, would experience, right? So it was a pretty basic prompt, but look at this. This is really amazing. Now you can read through this, uh, but in this case, I had the short and prompt option or toggle uh, enabled. That's why it is a relatively short prompt. Now, if you have seen these different websites, which tries to replicate persona of different people, these are the type of prompts that they use. Now, I want to show you one more feature related to the image models before I show you some of the other advanced features. So let's say in this case, we select mid journey. If you toggle this button, you can simply upload an image. Then this model will generate a prompt uh, in order to recreate a similar image. Now, this is very similar to the describe functionality within Midjourney. So it took that image, generated a prompt to recreate a similar image, and then it further gave us an optimized prompt as well. And here's the image based on the prompt that it generated. It does look pretty cool. And these are the results based on the shortened version. Now you can get a similar effect using the describe command within Midjourney. All right, so a couple of fun examples. Here's the prompt that I used, a llama wearing glasses. And then using prompt perfect, uh, it gave me a much more detailed prompt. And these are really amazing looking images. Okay, I want to show you this other cool feature called Arena. So here you can basically select different models and you can compare their performance. So let's say I'm simply selecting all the available chat models. Uh, and then I'm going to run this single prompt, write a story about a programmer who fell in love with a deep neural network. Now, within this platform, you can simply compare responses from all these models. So for example, here, uh, the command model is able to generate the response pretty quickly, right? Then we have chat GPT, a stable LM, right? And based on your input, you can see how good the responses are. So within this single uh, interface, you can pick and choose which model is best for your application. But here's the fun part. So if you see here, there is a uh, preview mode arguments. So basically, you can change uh, the hyperparameters of your model and look at the behavior, right? So if you're trying to build an application which uses large language models, this is a really neat feature to compare them uh, for your own application. So I would definitely recommend you to check this out. Now this platform offers some other features as well. For example, here is a feature called Streamlit. So this lets you create pipelines and test your models by integrating multiple step execution. Now there is a pretty neat interface for creating and optimizing a few short prompts as well. Then uh, you can also add functions. So this is basically the use of tools you can but the thing that I really am interested in is this prompt as a service. This basically lets you deploy your prompt as a service, or you can integrate them in your own applications, which I think is pretty amazing. So let me quickly walk you through an example. So first you need to simply select the backend model. So let's say we want to use ChatGPT, and here you can define your own prompt. Uh, but I'm going to use the default prompt. So it's a rap battle between two characters. And then it says each participant should have three rounds to showcase their skills with each round having a specific theme or topic. Okay, so whatever your prompt is, you simply paste it in here. And then we want to deploy this as a service. So you simply toggle this uh, service is not running. So we're going to start the service. Okay, so here is the code which you can use for API calls. And this is all you need. This is available in JavaScript, Python as well. You can create a new secret key. That secret key is going to come in here. And then you can start making calls to this API, uh, which is pretty amazing because it's a, it's a fully managed service. And if you see here, uh, you will simply provide uh, the character A value 
and character B value. Now for deployment, you definitely want to use a secret key, but you can also activate the public access. So that would mean that you don't need a um, secret key in order to use this, right? Uh, and you can also test this. Okay, so the character A in my case is Donald Trump, the character B is Joe Biden, and let's run this test. Okay, so here's the response that you would expect. So me madness and then uh, DJ Divrek. All right, wild and out fam. We have got Donald Trump and Joe Biden in the building. Let's kick off this rap battle with the meme team, right? And then it kind of uh, creates the bat, uh, the rap battle. This is pretty awesome. Okay, but you can simply deploy this as well. Uh, so I'm gonna simply be making this call through my terminal. Now I open a completely new terminal. So I'm going to paste the API call. Now you can change uh, the characters if you want. But let's keep the same and let's see if we get a response oh wow okay so it actually worked so uh you see we got a response response status is fine and then there is a data and here is the response that we got amazing because it's fully managed and you can simply use it without any configurations from perfect has four different tiers with different pricing points however if you use my code prompt 15 you will get 15 percent off just keep in mind this offer is valid for the next one week if you're putting large language models in production it's a great tool to optimize your prompts one thing which i really like about prompt perfect is it not only optimizes your prompt but also tells you what was done during the optimization process and this is great if you are learning about prompt engineering so do check out their platform it can really help you with your prompt engineering if you would like to learn about the basics of prompt engineering I would recommend you to watch this video next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.